Hello, my name is Sonia Tomiato and this is my channel. I try to make videos of things that I'm interested in, uh, random things about my life, other things that you might find a bit boring but somebody out there appreciates them, that's who I do it for. And for you. Today has been an interesting day. I was working from home, did my meetings here and there, didn't have lunch, which is not a good thing, so you should have lunch if you haven't had your lunch yet. I then went to work because I had to sort something out. However, the trains had a problem. So a 20 minute journey to work turned into a hour journey to work. Went to work, did what I had to do, had to come back home. Now how long do you think that took? An hour and a half. So I was tired, but I decided that I was going to make my HelloFresh meal, which was some bacon, onion, crispy kale salad. It was very good. Ooh, side note, I also met my flatmates today. It was kind of cool. Everyone's like kind of from all over the place, which is quite nice. But back to the video. It's been an interesting day, but I've decided that today I'm going to finish my day off with a nice relaxing self-care night routine. Is this my night routine every night? Absolutely not. But am I going to try to get myself ready for tomorrow? Am I going to do something that will make me feel good about my skin? Because look at that. What is this? I don't know what it is, but it is there and I'm going to fix it. Am I glistening in the light because my face is that oily? Yes. Yes, I am. Ooh, I need to take my makeup off. I should have done that while I was talking. I've come to the point where I really don't like wearing makeup and I really won't if I don't have to. However, sometimes I really feel like... It's not acceptable for me to go out the way that I look like. I obviously know it's just me thinking about myself like that and it's not the truth and I should feel okay because it is okay for me to go out looking the way that I do sometimes. However, that day was not today. My accommodation's like right by a busy road so I hear... Oh. Anyway... Don't get makeup remover in your eye. Do you see what I'm talking about? Like, I cannot go out looking like this. To be honest, this is what I look like. I have to accept it and move on with my life. Anyway, I'm now gonna shower and I'll meet you after my shower. Hey, I had my shower and I actually think that I'm gonna do a face mask now because it's been a while since I've done that. To be fair, it's been a while since I've like fully like washed my face and I know that's a bad thing but you know life gets in the way I am tired I like to sleep I like to be in my bed with Netflix on with a packet of ready salted crisps but today we're gonna do full-on face mask let me go get it it's actually in here so I got these three but I'm gonna use this one tropical cocktail i just feel like relaxing today like all my night i go to sleep quite late and it just ruins me in the morning when i have to wake up i just want to put this on my face wake up with like that smooth face i'm working from home tomorrow so it's more relaxing in general however i have realized when i do do <laughs> When I do do a face mask or something, the next day my face is like very oily. It's smooth at the same time. So I guess it's a pros and cons thing. Since I'm doing a face mask, let's talk a little bit about my skin and insecurities in general. When I was younger, my skin was extremely bad. And in a sense, I was also a little bit lucky because I've you know never been the person to have crazy big pimples on my face i don't know what it was but i had a ridiculous amount of tiny pimples all over my face and they were so so small like when i say tiny they were tiny i'm dropping everywhere oh my god it annoyed me because it started when i was really really young i remember like my auntie taking pictures of me when i was only like eight years old and you know looking back at them even now i'm like whoa why was my face like that at six years old like that's not really normal obviously when i grew up and you know you go through like your hormonal changes i you know obviously did have you know some bigger pimples but i've never had a, a huge problem with that ever since my skin is actually something that 
I've been insecure about. I don't have these like tiny, tiny little pimples anymore, but I do have extremely enlarged pores. Actually, I'm not gonna say extremely because some people don't notice them, but I notice them. Actually, a skin person has even said this to me, so I'm not just making stuff up. I actually do. I obviously can't show you right now, but I'll insert a clip or something. So yeah, so I've had like really extreme pores. I really don't like them. I can actually see them in pictures. But what I've also come to realize is that people don't even care. People really don't care. Like you think they care, but they don't care. I mean, some people might care, but you know, the general population doesn't really care. I think. And this thing is getting all over my hair. I should have tied my hair. So I got this little hairband. It's much better. I should have done this from the beginning. Okay, so I'm gonna sit on the toilet while I'm waiting for this mask to dry. Because apparently I'm supposed to peel it off. I don't know how that's gonna happen because I don't think it's connected. Okay, back to what I was saying. So I'm a psychology student, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about that now. Hang on, because this is interesting. There is this thing called the spotlight effect. Basically, that means that when you go around, you always think that you're in a spotlight, that everybody is seeing everything that you do, is listening to everything that you say, is judging you, is looking at the tiniest detail to like the necklace that you're wearing. But actually, everyone is so self-absorbed in their own life that everybody has a spotlight in themselves but in the end that just means that everybody is in a spotlight which actually means that nobody's in a spotlight at all you, i know what you're saying right now sonia make it make sense i can't make it make sense it's psychology oh my god this face mask is like tickling me like where it's like peeling you know what i mean oh my god it's starting to peel okay that was a bad angle but i don't care A while ago I used to care a lot about what my Instagram looked like I used to take like so many pictures before getting the right one and I'd edit it and make sure that everything is perfect and because of that I wasn't really posting much because I had to make sure that every single picture I posted whether it was like on my feed or on my story was like the best picture of me the more that I've been filming these videos and the more that I've kind of opened up I kind of realized that I really rather be myself and the people who like me can like me and the people who don't just really quite frankly I don't care you can like me or you don't have to like me but I don't want you to see me online or something and like the look of me or the idea of me and then see me in person and be uh, disappointed or not something that you expected I don't want that so that's why I'm trying to post more and you know the more that I post on YouTube I mean because I can actually speak on YouTube the more I want to show myself and who I am and the things that I go through and there's always going to be a part of me that you know doesn't show exactly who I am I'm really weird and that's one of the reasons why I wouldn't basically what I'm trying to say is that you're amazing you shouldn't care what you look like or what you think other people will think about you post whatever you want wear whatever you want do whatever you want say whatever you want as long as it's not offensive and it's not something rude then don't say you know whatever you want but if it's not then you know say whatever you want what's this video again this is a night routine video so that was a little bit of a deep chat that i hope you appreciated in some way shape or form well, i look so scary right now let me take this off you know i can't lie to you apart from like the dormant volcano on my chin my skin does feel pretty rejuvenated so something i haven't done for quite a while now is read a book i'm gonna do that now do i read a book every night no no i don't it's weird because i actually have like a reading list but i don't read make it make sense i actually got this book from amazon the other day it's called the trial of rosemary west now she may look quite sweet to you and all but no she was a serial killer i have always been interested in crime for a time i wanted to be a forensic scientist then I decided that I was going to be a forensic psychologist because science, you know, wasn't my <laughs> root in life, let's just say that. But then I got scared about working in prisons with criminals. So now I just do normal psychology and I work in marketing. 
Okay, my camera died, but I have literally just been sitting here like this, like reading this book. I'm 20 pages in and I'm like shocked how people can do the things that they do. Anyway, I'm getting tired, so I feel like I'm gonna go to sleep soon. It's kind of early. It's 12.20 and that's late for me because I have work tomorrow. So actually, you know what? I'm done. I'm gonna brush my teeth now. <laughs> I have a long day ahead of me tomorrow even though I'm working from home I have you know a lot of things that I have to get done a lot of things that I have to organize like comment subscribe to the channel to watch more videos and maybe I can start having a few more like deeper chats about my life your life this pimple you know anything we can talk about anything but yeah I really appreciate you and I'm having a lot of fun speaking to you so good night and see you in the next video